Good morning guys and if you haven't guessed we're outside at the auction I've already had a little look around and um, there's not too much in there today um, I think I'm gonna go and get some coins from an antique centre after this because there's some there that um, I do want and um, there's a few bags of world coins that I want to get a bit of extra stock but yeah then um, I'll take you for a little walk around now auction's already going but as well I've got two coins at home that I bought last week and I completely forgot to do a video a George III shilling and um, a Queen Victoria shilling the Queen Victoria shilling is gorgeous the George III is gorgeous but um, he's been cleaned a bit burnished but anyway I'll show you them when we get home so I don't know what this video is going to be like today because like I say there's not much in here but let's go and have a look just starting off in back room like I say there ain't much in this auction today but we'll have a little potter about we'll have a look about and then we'll get to that antique centre and we'll get a few bits but just stay tuned stay with me and come for the journey A few Pokemon cards, but they were all modern. They weren't much I really exciting know about in there. Though, to be fair. Well, not for me, anyway. I've had a little scan. These Furbies flew off the shelf. Listen to prices for some Furbies. They were tiny and all. And lot number 42 is a different baby. And I've got £10 bid on this one. 10 bid, 12 anywhere. £12 anywhere on this. 12 anywhere. Selling away at 12. And I'm out on this one. 12 bid, 14 anywhere. 14 anywhere. Selling away at 12. But as you can see, guys, not much at all. Literally, even in cabinet, there were no in cabinet. Obviously, there's a coin show next week well he's doing a coin auction next week so obviously out like that will be in there so not really much picking very slim this week i already had a look at them stamps again mainly world a lot of them were modern stuff no old queen vicky or out there in there £18, two, number, £18, and lot number 74 is the old Monopoly set there, and I'm straight in at seven pounds bid, seven bid eight anywhere, eight pounds anywhere, selling at eight nine, nine will be ten anywhere, ten anywhere, selling away at nine pounds. A little bit of auction footage, but yeah, we're going to take a look now at these antique centres and I'll get these coins and I'll show you these coins when we get back. Just in antiques and now guys, just having a look about, but I can't tell you where this one is because there's loads of coins there that I want. Once I've bought them, I'll tell you where it is. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Wow. 
again in this antique center a real good mix loads of different things but obviously i always look at coins and cabinets and all like that but if there's out you want to have a look at guys if there's out you're into just let me know i'll try and find it at next one i will let you know where this is in future but at minute i need to keep it quiet it's my little baby the new king charles coinage as well and someone's bought them salmons out of there. There were some at salmons, but they did have the privy marks on. I was going to buy them, but they've gone. It's a bit hard to see, but there's some cracking coins in here at good prices, but some of them are high, but respectable, good prices, good coins. We do buy a coin from this cabinet, and we did buy two last week, so I've got them at home to show you as well. So stay tuned to find out what we got and what we spent. Go and see where our Sam is. But yeah, this is another good place. There's plenty of stuff in here, guys. But I can't tell you where it is. If you know, you know. A little bit of a secret. But our Sam's here. Because there's some coins we want out of these cabinets. So we can't tell you exactly where it is. these crystals there's some crystals in auction this week coming up on wednesday um look at prices that these are going for in here 100 25s there's some um orbs look the prices on them these are all around the 40 pound mark just for these small pieces 85 pound for that little piece there so these these ones ain't auction. Like you can get inside them. They're massive. Um, I don't know too much about them. Let me see now, Tom. A few things. A few things, but you know me. I only like expensive. Well, not expensive, but good quality. You have to pay for fucking quality. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I've got my own a few things. Might have to bite the bullet and buy, buy them, but that's it. Right, yeah. well, you guys know from watching us, we do go for the higher grade, the top quality you, you stuff. You don't want to be messing about with up less than AU coins, really. Extra fine coins if uh, if they're the good dates, but really you want top end AU always, or coins. In my opinion, anyway, they, they, they're always all better value. You can command better money and always try and get the best you can afford at the time. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Instead of buying a box for 500, I'd rather buy one coin for 500. Yeah, it's right away, isn't it? Yeah, just pondering, just having a look. Some at prices are well too high. Some of them are under market, some are just average, just like most of these places. Depends who's dealing, depends who's got it.
I do hope you're enjoying this content guys Like usual make sure you smash that like button If you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe More videos to come And like because it's coming up to winter now guys We're going to just be slowing it down a little bit Things are going to be going on eBay I'm going to be getting back to coin shows We're not going to be doing as much car boots But if there's a car boot day we're going to be there Yeah. <laughs> Hello guys, so yeah, we're back, we're back home So a little round up of today before we get talking So yeah, basically in Auction House, it, like every week there's not going to be summit for everybody But there's always plenty of stuff in there, don't get me wrong, there was still plenty of stuff in there but not much stuff for us. Like I say, is next week there's a coin auction on, so a lot of coins and a lot of stuff like that we're into will be in there next week on Wednesday, so I will be going. Again, we're talking grade, quality and condition, so if the grade's right, the quality's right, I will be buying, but again, the price has got to be right. I'm not going to go in there and just chuck money at things. I've got a limit on things because I I've got to make some money and I always try and be under book price. But yeah, so next week, again, that's where all coins will be in there. But not much, too much in auction today. So like I said, is we went to an antique centre, which I'm not going to tell you where it is. I will tell you one day. Some people might already know. So if you do know, just let me know in comments. But before we get to that, and I'll show you what we've got. Um, there's three other coins here that I have got to show you. Two that we bought last one week and one that we bought today. The one that we bought today is absolutely beautiful. It's good. And they're hard to get, they are rare, and I've got a little bit of information to tell you about it, but um, I'll show you them in a second. Well, yeah, you might be asking, why have I got a 1901 half penny? Like I said, is this week I've been uploading slow, steady, getting a few bins back onto eBay, because for like four months now, I haven't really sold on eBay. I've time, I've put a few bits up, but slowly, steady, building my stock back up. I've got a lot of stuff that I need to sort through. But anyway, let me stop rambling on about what I've been doing. But this, um, I put up last night. Um, 1901 half penny. Say it's got a good luster on it. Probably a 60-70% luster. The detail is gorgeous. I'd say about uncirculated. Uncirculated, definitely uncirculated. But like we say, is we always knock that grade back just a little bit. But yeah, um, I've got quite a few things on me eBay again at minute that I've just put on. Um, but for this, I've got two of these in very similar, or about the same grade. They only owe me fifteen pound each. So um, book price on these is thirty five pound. So what I'm gonna do is well, I've already done it now. I've set it off at 99p with some good pictures. I do apologise about my camera as well, guys. I'm I'm getting a new phone. You won't believe the phone that I'm working with and I've been working with for a long time. It's terrible. Um, not very good at all. Camera's terrible on it and screen's bad. So I'll show you a video when we do. When I get my new one, I'll I'll take a video and show you what I've been working with. But yeah, um, I've started this off anyway, and I started it off. Believe it or not, at a bargain price at 99p. Book price is 35 in, uns in uncirculated, and that is uncirculated, please believe. Nice original colour, really, really, really high grade. You can see all the details, all um, writings clear, date clear. Really, really nice. But yeah, I've started that at 99p. I've got four watches on it, um, and I've got one bid on it at minute, but it finishes in six days. So if you are into your bronzes or you are looking for out a bit cheap, guys, I am going to be starting to put a 99p auction up every week or two, two a week to get some buyers in, to draw them back in, to get them looking at them good stuff, the my price items. But yeah, um, that's like 1901. I've just started it off. So if you do want to go and have a look on the eBay store, it's Joe Ab underscore. So that's Joe Ab underscore. 
17. But remember that 17, guys, that underscore as well. Remember that, Joab underscore 17. You can have a look. If there is out on there that you are interested in, just message me and let me know. And as well, Richard Eaton, I am definitely going to get back to you. But I've got quite a few nice, good quality coins in this grade. Um, some a bit lower, but I do know what you're looking for, like I've said, is and I am going back to coin shows. I do repeat that, I am going back to coin shows, so in the next couple of weeks, I was going to go today, but to be honest with you guys, I didn't. I had to go and pick some stuff up and go and sort some other stuff out. But yeah, I am going back to coin shows. So yeah, um, Steve, Steve, Richard, I will um, get back to you about them pennies, about them dates, them wider dates, and them varieties you're looking for. But yeah, man, I put that up at 99p, so if anyone wants to go and put a bid on, it is definitely worth, worth it, guys. Get yourself on there and get the deal before it's gone, before it's too late. An absolute gorgeous coin. So, I said we got two coins last week. Um, I'll start off with this one. This one's a George the Third shilling. Now this. Really, really nice grade. Really nice grade. It doesn't look too bad in this light, but can you see underneath that it's burnished? It's been cleaned at some point. It's like a metal. Can you see what I mean? And that's that's not really what you want on a coin, but because the grade were nice, I bought it. Um, for this coin, I paid £57 for this one. Another one I paid £60 for. Again, book price is a lot more on this. But it's a nice example, a good grade. It's just a shame that it's burnished. Can you see that? And it's had that polish. It's like a bloody medal. But yeah, um, 1787 shilling. Fantastic grade. All details in. And for the price I've paid, there's a good profit on it. I've got it up now at £99. Um, I can afford to go down a little bit more. But that's about going rate. I've, I've seen them in worse grades. Um, asking for more or around about that, but it's just a shame. Look, can you see that? Wow, oh, it's been cleaned. It shouldn't do that at all. Um, so it has a, had a clean at previous day, but the toning of it tops make it look a little bit better. It brings that colour down to earth a little bit more. But yeah, um, all the details on the device, guys. It is a really, really nice shilling, and for the price we've paid, there's a good. There should be a good little healthy profit on it. So that's gone up on eBay as well. So um, I'll put that down there. See what I mean? Look at me phone, it just it's not zooming in on out. Right, this is absolutely gorgeous. And when I show you the other side as well. Right, you might say, oh well that's shiny. It's really shiny. But can you see there there's the pivots look? There's that original layer on top. And that's what we're looking for. This coin is absolutely gorgeous, but it's a shame about that bit of toning on a nose. That is detracting. But apart from that, it's an absolutely high grade coin. And look at the other side. We don't know, or I don't know, I can't I can't tell you if it's been done on purpose, if someone's done it with an egg or a bit of liver and sulfur or whatnot. But look at this for some toning. You've got your purples in there, your greens, you've got a little bit of gold in there. Oh yeah. Good colour on that. But yeah, um, this is a really good example. And they are quite collectible. Well they are really collectible, but they are pretty hot. Um Queen Victorian ones. And if you can get them in this grade and this quality. They can fetch a good price. Book price on this in this grade is about four hundred pound. Um, I'd love to get four hundred pound on it if I got right pictures. Like I say, guys, it's right pictures. You will get that money on them. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to get that on it, but I don't think I will. Um, I, I've got it up at minute um, one eighties. I might even put two hundred on it. It's worth that all day, and for right buyer at right time. Please have a look at your um, your dates, or have a look at your examples online yourself, and see what they're going for. 
but yeah an absolutely gorgeous coin really really high detail on it in about uncirculated condition look at that one shilling eh queen victoria's reign young ed beautiful but yeah it's just a shame about that mark there it is detracting and that's what might put people off the price we could probably dip it and clean it but then you're going to get that side off as well and it's just going to be black but it would be blast white it would be nice and it's got that original luster you know you can see it still you can see it's been looked after it's been kept nice this coin but yeah we got that other day paid 60 pound for that and again there's no less than doubling your money on it it's no less than 120 pound but at a respectable price 150 180 i could probably push a little bit more online when i get some good pictures on it but um i offered someone at 150 the other day he didn't really really buy it but he's a mate of mine and um he knows where the good coins are and he, he does spend he just likes to know if he's got that in his day or if he's got it in his run but i've offered it him it's a nice coin you should hope to come back but yeah um got them the other day so for both these coins here we're talking 120 pound in for both of them and you'll get a good return selling both of them even if you get 120 on that and you get 100 on that but you're not going to get 100 let's say you get 100 on that and 150s on that you've got a good return for your money spent really nice high grade quality coins you can't moan but can you see what i mean about cleaning there's a difference in how that beams across fucking hell you know get me and i do apologize if there's any kids watching because i know some kids do sit down with the parents and watch it watch my channel so i do apologize anyway guys this is the one we've all been waiting for this is a spanish well it's not a spanish but it's a vigo coin it's a half crown from queen anne if you don't know anything about vigo it was a battle in the war of Spanish succession in the year 1702 so that's when this coin were done basically this coin is a spoil of war so when they were fighting and um, the French it were a disaster for them the English absolutely destroyed the fleets and they stole the money what they would have used at the time which would have been reals cobs they would have used silver and there would have been a bit of gold coinage about but the main thing would have been silver cobs and reals basically at the battle it was 1702 the battle was won by the english and the spoils were brought and back to southampton and there were a ceremony and it were actually overseen by isaac newton and if you don't know guys isaac newton did work at the mint most people didn't know that everyone just thinks he were a scientist but he actually did work at the mint and he created our measurements that we use today but yeah um all the spoils were taken back and um, the silver were melted down and they were made into these coins. So you can check out the Battle of Vigo and you can check out it in full information. There's a lot of things you can read online. So don't quote everything that I've just said to you, but I'm sure I'm correct on what I've just said. I'm just telling you a little bit of information that I know. So just check it with a pinch of salt and go and read online, but I'm sure I am correct. So yeah, basically it's the silver that were melted down and they were made into this coin and they were actually put Vigo on it to obviously say that's where it was from and that's where it's come from. They are a sought after piece. Book price on these guys is ridiculous and they are rare. Um, they are that rare that there's only eight online at the minute on eBay alone and there's only a couple of coins websites that are selling them and... Um, they are high prices for this believe it or not have a guess only paid 350 pound which would seem like a lot of money but again it's not a lot of money for this piece of history that i'm holding in my hand 1702 battle of vigo queen and half crown can't beat them you can't get better the grade very fine pushing to extremely fine but we'd say very fine even in this grade you're pushing 800 pound no less well we'll probably get less for it but 
It's an £800 coin all day. It's absolutely gorgeous. In really good condition, guys. Just take that. Again, it does look a little bit shiny underneath. But we're not bothered about that because of the rarity of the coin. There's a difference in that. Because sometimes you don't want clean coins. Obviously, you don't want clean coins at any time. But there's a difference in when you've got a clean George III or a Battle of Ego crown. Please try and have a look and have a look for that information. Yeah, the hair's worn. I have seen them better. But to get um, a Queen Anne like that, they are hard to find even crowns of it. They're a sought after piece. Um, a lot of people are looking for them. But yeah, again, guys, it's not bad quality at all, not bad condition. And it's worth every penny. Worth every penny that we've paid. So that's 350 on that. 120 on them other two coins and that other one owes me 15 pound but i've started it at 99p so hopefully she goes when she goes but like i say guys if you do want anything or do go on my ebay have a look give me a message we can do you a deal we can do you a special price but yeah what a nice coin guys and i do apologize again about my camera being rubbish i am gonna be getting a new phone soon and um all camera all angles will be good all coins will look good Everything will be zoomed in right, because look how long it's taking me to do that. Looks terrible. I know. Who cares? But yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed this content today, guys. I have had a little bit of a ramble, but it's a little bit of information telling you what we've been doing, what's been going on. You will let me know which coin you think's best. That's a really, really nice grade. Absolutely gorgeous grade. Again, top grade, but it's no only 1901. That shilling's nice, but it's had a clean, and it's just a shame... That she's not higher grade but the rarity makes her worth a lot more and who can say that they've got a vigo crown if you've got a vigo crown let me know but um it's first time i've seen one and got one in the flesh anyway but yeah thanks for watching guys any questions any comments just get them down below and i'll catch you on the next one